Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, we'll be discussing about the different views of the project module. So here we are opening the project module. Once you open the project module, you can see the different projects which are there in your system. And the project can be viewed in two different ways, which is the Canvas view as well as the list view. So you can choose it from the top right corner of the screen where you have the different views. So this is the Canvas view. Uh, inside each Canvas view, that, that is a card-like view, so a single card notes to, you know, things regarding a single project, okay? You will get the person, the date, okay, and how many tasks are there and activities regarding it. And then you have the three dots here where you have the option to share the project and go to settings as well as you have the view and reporting. So under reporting, you have the reporting based on that project and also the views regarding that project. So if you choose task of that project means it will take you to the task corresponding to the project which you've chosen. So that's the views inside a single project. Now that's the Canvas view. And we have the list view of the same. So this is the list view where you have the name, the customer, the company, the project manager. Okay, you can see the name of the project, the customer, the company, the project manager, and also the different, you know, tasks and all. So if you want to view tasks, you can click on this and it will take you to the task of that project. So those are the two views of project module. And then you have the task. Okay. So under task, you have two things, which is my task and all task. Okay. So this is my task. If you choose that, you have these much views for task. Okay. So here currently you have the Canvas view. Now it is, you know, based on today, this week, this month and so on. So you can change it simply by dragging and dropping it to a different stage. Okay. So that's the uh, speciality of the Canvas view here, uh, as I said before, Canvas view means it's a card-like view, okay? And it, it shows the details of a single task, including the activities regarding the task. Now, you have the list view of the very same thing. So, for that, you have the title, the project, the assignees, the company, the hours spent on the task, the progress, next activity, tags, and stage, Okay. So that's the, um, you know, list view of the same, which is your task. And then you have the Gantt view. So this is the Gantt view of my task. So currently it is based on month. If you want to view it based on a day, means you can do that. Now this shows a different task corresponding to a project. So here you have projects like field service, research and development and so on. And then you have if like I've chosen it based on a day. So it shows different hours of the day. And on what time it is, that is the task has been scheduled and all. Okay. So that's the uh, Gantt view. And then you have the calendar view of the task. So I've chosen the calendar view. Now this is similar to a calendar which we use in our day-to-day -day life. Now inside the calendar, it will be marked. The task will be marked according to the project. The color uh, depends. Okay. So if the task is corresponding to the project field service, it will show blue color. If it's of office design it, uh, design, it will show red color and research and development means it will be showing orange color. So each task is denoted there under each date of the month. If you want to change it to a week or year, you can do that. See, this is based on a week. Similarly, you have day as well as year. Okay, so that's the calendar view. Now it shows the tasks by deadline. So each date denotes the deadline of the task. And then you have the map view of the task. Okay, so this is the map view of the task. It's actually locating new addresses. Now, this will be showing you the different locations, okay? See, here you have different tasks. And this is viewed inside the map. Okay, so that's it. And if you just zoom it like that, you can see. Okay, so likewise, you can zoom into it. And here you can use this plus and minus icon to, you know, zoom and come out of it. <clears throat> okay. So that's the uh, map view of your task and which shows the open task as well. So location based on the location, it will be shown inside the map. And then you have the pivot view of your task. So this is the pivot view. You know what a pivot view is. It's basically a tabular view. Okay. So this is the tabular view. And it shows the different projects and the count of the project. So if you want to add new measures, so if you want to see the hours spent on each task, means you can simply add it from here. So here you can see hours spent. And if you want to see the overtime, then simply choose overtime from there and you will have the overtime as well. Similarly, you can insert it into a spreadsheet, flip axis, expand it and also download the 
XLSX file. Okay, so that's the pivot view of the open tasks and then you have the graph view of the same. So you all know there are three different graphs, right? Now this is the bar chart, this is the line chart and this is the pie chart. Okay, so different color denotes to different projects. Okay, so that's it. And like it, it, it even shows the different stages of the projects or even the task. So that's the graph, I mean graph view. And finally inside the task you have this activity. So uh, activities cor corresponding to any task which is you know linked or synced to a project can be done from here. So basically there will be three colors red, orange uh, and you know this green color. So the red one denotes to the you know tasks uh, or the activities which have been expired and yellow re represents to the ones which are or yellow or orange whatever it is you can you, I hope you understand what I meant and this color represents to the tasks which are to be done today and the green color represents to be the activities which are scheduled for the future so that the views which you have under your tasks so inside all tasks also you have the very same options okay and then you have the reporting so obviously inside the reporting you have this task analysis where you have this graph view and the pivot view and under the configuration, you have things like your settings, projects, tags and all. So this is the project section. So under the project section, you have the list view and the Kanban view of each project. And this is what we saw once we opened the module. And then you have the tags where you can create the different tags. You have the activity types and you have the activity plans. So here and all, we don't have any views. Views comes under projects as well as the task. Okay. So that's the important thing. So that's how the views uh, looks like inside the project module. Okay. So that's all about the views of project. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.